today we are a little cemetery up on a hill. Uh, it's about eight miles north of where I grew up. Uh, this is what they call the new Bentley Township Cemetery. Uh, the old cemetery is about an eighth of a mile down the road. Uh, I believe this cemetery was established right around 1900, 19, before 1910 anyways. The uh, old cemetery is quite a bit older. I was looking for arrowheads and that one fooled me. <clears throat> Anyways, the reason I brought you up here today is uh, I've got some family here and uh, I like to come up here and visit every once in a while and uh, sweep the snow off their headstones and uh, figured I'd bring you guys along. Now, <clears throat> we were up here I don't know, uh, three, four weeks ago, maybe, and uh, clean these stones off, and as you can see, they are uh, completely covered. There should be four stones here. So, <clears throat> gonna... this is my great grandmother here. Seems like there's a hard pack of ice uh, over it, so we may not be able to uh, do much of anything. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to work at it a little bit, see what I can get done, and uh, once I get them cleaned off, I'll bring it back. But Okay, I've gotten the snow kicked off of these a little bit. It was uh, about two inches of thick ice on top of these and uh, I like to just clear the snow and ice off of them and and uh, let the sun get on them it'll melt a little bit of that of course it's pretty cold today so it may not but over here to the right is my great-grandmother next to her is my great-great-grandmother my great-great-grandfather and then my great grandmother's sister, Ruth, who died very young. She was born in 1913 and died in 1913. My great great grandfather, Vinton Charles Graham, is the son of Charles Wesley Graham, who uh, fought in the Civil War. Uh, he enlisted right at the tail end of the war uh, in 1865. I actually don't think that he ever saw any battle, but uh, he did uh, do about eight months or so of guard duty. He uh, met up with his regiment in Nashville and uh, did some guard duty and then was discharged at the end of the, or after the end of the war, really. Um, but uh, my great-great-grandfather, Vinton, was born in 1873 in Livingston County. Uh, it's about an hour and 45 minutes south of here uh, if you drive the highway. And uh, moved here uh, I think in 19, 1900. Uh, the census says that he is a, a border here in, in uh, Bentley Township, uh, the town of Esty, which is it used to be a booming log town. Um, there was a train depot that was not far from here, and, uh, the train actually ran straight through, uh, just north of Esty, and went to a place called Pinconning, which a lot of people may know for, uh, Pinconning cheese. But, uh, Vinton moved up here somewhere between... 1900 or 1890 and, and 1910 somewhere in there and uh, I'm not really sure if he was part of the logging industry or not um, I do know that in the old section he has a brother that's uh, buried in the old section Leonard um, 
yeah, that's uh, kind of how my how my grandma's side of the family got here. Uh, whether it was for logging or or prospects of farming farmland, I don't really know. But I wish I could ask him. <laughs> I can tell you that. So, all right. Well, I'm gonna do a little more wandering around here and uh, and. Uh, drive down to the old section and uh, show you a little bit of that. This is the final resting place of James H. McPherson. I can tell you right now, that headstone has seen better days. It looks as though uh, there's been years and years of improper cleaning done to it. When I came up here this last summer, if I can find a photo of it in my camera, this stone was very dark. You almost couldn't read it. I, uh, did some light cleaning to it. I sprayed it with D2. I very, very lightly brushed it with a brush, and some D2. And uh, it has greatly improved, but you can see around the letters where it's kind of falling apart, turning back into dirt, we'll say. Um, that is a very good indication that somebody has used bleach or some other household cleaner on this stone it's kind of upsetting because this man served in the first world war um, and you can hardly even read the citation on his stone uh, for the uh, infantry regiment that he fought in which uh, is the 337th infantry Yep, so it's very important that we treat these headstones with respect and we only use approved materials to clean these headstones because, believe it or not, these are a very important part of history. I don't know if anybody's ever been to Arlington or Gettysburg. I have not, but I can only imagine that seeing thousands of these white stones standing straight in rows it's got to be a feeling that I've never felt before, I can tell you that. But it sure is a testament to the sacrifice these people gave to keep our country free. For you to have the rights and privileges that you have today. Hey guys, here we are at the uh, the old section, a little bit down the road from where the new one is, <clears throat> right here behind me in the snow is Ida Graham, her uh, maiden name was Parker, she is the mother of my great great grandfather. This is my great 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 grandmother. Best I can figure, when uh, my great 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 grandfather died, she moved up here with uh, Vinton or Leonard, lived with them until she passed away in 1906. I'm not really sure what the circumstances of that was, but that's uh, Ida there. And then right here is the, the Mann family, M-A-N-N, -N. <clears throat> Leonard, uh, Ida's son, married a man, and Leonard is buried right here. 
I'm not entirely sure how many graves are here total. Um, there's Leonard's headstone. Actually, he's got a smaller um, marker right there next to that stone. I'm not really sure how many graves are here in total. Um, I do plan on getting a hold of the sexton to see if he's got a map. But uh, there is a lot of space here and not very many stones. I came here back in the summer and I cleaned every stone the first time. And it uh, looks like the rest, or they could use another cleaning. But uh, yeah, this is kind of a neat little cemetery. I, I like this one. It's uh, up on a nice little hill. Some beautiful large white pines up there on the hill. And uh, it's very quiet, very serene. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for today. It's kind of cold out still. <laughs> we, uh, back home, well, I'm only about, uh, mm, somewhere between 10 and 15 miles north of where I live. And, uh, there's darn near a foot of snow here in places. And I guess some of it could be from drifting. But, uh, we only got about four or five inches on the ground at my house, so it's kind of uh, kind of odd. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll catch you on the next adventure.